This book is Inside Mary Elizabeth's House by Pamela Allen. Here is Mary Elizabeth's house. This is Mary Elizabeth, and these are the boys. On Monday morning, on the way to school, Mary Elizabeth said to the boys, There's a monster at my house. We don't believe you, they said. They don't believe me, she said. On Tuesday morning, Mary Elizabeth said to the boys, There's a monster at my house with red bloodshot eyes and sharp pointy teeth. He's rough and he's rowdy and he jumps on my bed. We don't believe you, they said. They won't believe me, she said. <laughs> On Wednesday morning, Mary Elizabeth said to the boys, There's a monster at my house with red bloodshot eyes and sharp pointy teeth. He's rough and he's rowdy and jumps on my bed. He doesn't wash and he won't clean his teeth. My mother says that he'll have to go, but he likes it at my house. He told me so. We don't believe you, they cried, and they laughed. They still won't believe me, she said. Ha, 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 ha. On Thursday morning, on the way to school, Mary Elizabeth said to the boys, There is a monster at my house. We don't believe you. We don't believe you. We don't believe you, they chanted. Mary Elizabeth smiled. I'll show you, she said. Come for dinner tonight at seven. Yum! Food, the boys shouted. It's the house painted red. Number 11. You'll see, said Mary Elizabeth. Later that night, about a quarter to seven, the boys set out for number 11. She did say number 11, didn't she? Knock, knock, knock. It was seven o'clock. Mary Elizabeth came to the door. We're here and we're hungry, the boys cried. What's for dinner? Slowly, Mary Elizabeth smiled her sweet smile. Come in, she said, and see. Yeah! Now they believe me, she said. And that's the end of the story.